I'm Terry Cleveland, Director of Risk Management at Antelope Valley College, and today I would like to talk to you about Swiss cheese and COVID-19. The Swiss cheese model of accident causation was developed by Professor James T. Reason, cognitive psychologist at the University of Manchester, England, over 30 years ago. In this model, each slice of Swiss cheese represents a layer of defense or a preventive measure against something going wrong. Just like there are holes in every layer of Swiss cheese, no single layer of protection is perfect itself at all times. So multiple layers of protection are better than a single layer. As can be seen on the slide, when at least one hole in each of several slices of Swiss cheese all line up, a straight path for something to go wrong is open through all layers of protection. We are then exposed to the hazard and can suffer a loss. The more slices of Swiss cheese or layers of defense that we place between ourselves and the hazard, the smaller the chance that a direct route will align between the hazard and ourselves. This Swiss cheese model can be applied to an infinite variety of hazards, including COVID-19 transmission. This model is applicable to preventive efforts, whether at work or at home. In both settings, we can all wear a mask when others not closely related are present, wash our hands often, maintain six feet of distance from people who are not close family members, clean high touch surfaces, avoid large indoor gatherings, and use more outdoor air for ventilation. Each separate protective measure can be thought of as a slice of Swiss cheese as illustrated in the slide. The noted virologist Ian McKay, adjunct assistant professor at the University of Queensland, Australia, adapted the Swiss cheese model of accident causation by Professor Reason to that of a respiratory virus pandemic defense as illustrated on this slide. Note the slices of Swiss cheese in his slide that are similar to the protective measures in use at Antelope Valley College. We are working on more preventive measures each day at our locations. But please take note of one more item in Dr. McKay's slide. It is the misinformation mouse. Can you spot it? It's right in the middle of the cheese slices having a meal. If left unchecked, it will create even bigger holes in our layers of protection. An example of misinformation is that you can no longer contract COVID-19 or pass it on if you have been vaccinated. If you believe this, you will be tempted to not wear a mask when around others, not distance yourself from others, not avoid touching your face, etc. This widens holes in our defenses because the truth is, even after being fully vaccinated and moving through the requisite period for your body to produce its maximum number of antibodies, you can still contract COVID-19, although your symptoms will not be as bad as they would be if you were not vaccinated. You are still contagious if you catch it and can pass it to others. So don't let the misinformation mouse deter you from taking preventive measures and letting your guard down. We can return safely to work and school, but we will not throw caution to the wind. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Be safe.